Yeah, say. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How do we know that we are on the right track and that our Shaykh is pleased with us? Sit down somewhere. Ask yourself that question. Don't ask me. Ask yourself. Be sincere. Ask yourself, what did I do today for the sake of my Shaykh? You can come up with the answer, isn't it? This is not mysticism. What did I do today that if Shaykh and he was there with me the whole day that he's going to be happy with me? I spoke these words to this person. Is he going to be happy with me? I did this. I thought this. I read this. I did so many things. If he is there, which he is, will he be happy with me? Then you'll be able to come up with the answers straight away, right away, if you are sincere, if you are honest. That's why tafakkur it is very important in our way. Meditation not meditation to enter into illusion world seeing lights here seeing angels here seeing prophets here no to look at our enemies to look at the veils to look at all the wrong characteristics that we have and to say did i do this today did i do that today i did this i did this i did this i didn't do this alhamdulillah i did this tomorrow making intention not to do it this one i have it i did it less today this one i did it more that is tafakkur you do that it is better than worshiping continuously nafila ibadat for 70 years but people they want short cut magic formulas just give me a salawat what's all this talk about you know for me to control my anger. Just give me some dua, I can just recite just like that, and it's going to take away everything. Subhanallah. Is that what Prophet did? <laughs> he could have just done magic too, just like that, didn't he? You think he did not have the power now to change the whole unbelievers to become believers too? You think he could not just change everything? and win every situation. So, why we are getting stuck with this? Those duas, are they going to help? They are going to help. If you take one step, you take one step, Allah is going to take ten steps to you. But you're sitting there, on your, mm, and you say, come to me, help me. You're not doing anything. And we are saying, this is what you're going to do. That one step that you're going to make also, higher faith that you have, you're going to say, you teach me how to make that one step. Don't let my ego to tell me how to make that one step. Because according to my ego, me sitting down like this, and opening my hand like this, this is already taking one step. Is that taking one step? No. It is not. So, if you are making tafakur, if you are sitting down and asking, answer will come to you straight away. Where did I deviate from the Siratul Mustaqim today? Where did I stay? The more sincere, the more honest you are, without anyone telling you. Now it's between you and Allah. Everybody wants to be just between you and Allah. Now sit down and be sincere. No one is looking at you. No one is yelling at you. No one is praising you. Be sincere with your Lord. But how are we going to be sincere if we are not taught how to be sincere? So hang out with the sincere people. Follow the sincere ones. And they're going to tell you how to be sincere because everything is messed up. There are so many tricks and traps of your ego that you made to be so confusing, you have to put everything out. That's why being in Jamaat, it is important. You learn, you see, you understand. Everything that is happening, it has a lesson for you. If the Shaykh is washing up one person, you must think that that is me. 
Not to say that's not me. I escaped from it. If the Shah is correcting another person, you must say, I have that characteristic. Are we? I did. This is just a lesson. You think that's easy? No, it's not. Of course, that time you feel like you just want to rip yourself to pieces. Then you're going somewhere. Uh, people point fingers to others, cheating, slandering, lying. And they're not looking at their own dirtiness. You do that, then that time you don't have to wait. The Shah doesn't have to wash you up too. He gives you one look and you know. Straight away it comes to your heart and you know. Not the Shah yelling and screaming at you. You still say, I don't understand. I still don't understand. I don't understand. What are you talking about? I don't understand. It will show. It will show in your work. It will show in your attitude. That you're always saying, I must make better today. I must become better today. I did my work. Today, it must be better. Where it can be improved, there. You're looking at your prayers. Where it can be improved, there. You're looking at your zikr. Where it can be improved. You're always looking for ways to improve yourself. Because you're looking at how deficient you are. If you're always looking for ways to improve yourself, then definitely you're going to stay in Sirat al -Mustakim. That time, yes, your heart starts to work. And your work will show that it is improving. And when someone tells you your work is no good, you're not going to jump to fight. If someone says you're not thinking through enough, you're not going to jump to argue. When someone is saying you're being stubborn and you're being arrogant, you're not going to be resisting. You're going to say, that's right. That is where it's stopping me. Thank you. That's good. This is where... I lack. And this is where I must fix myself. That time you can be sincere. You sit down and answer will come straight away to you. Spoiled 21st century Muslims. It means murids. Everyone thinks they are awliya. Be careful. We should be busy with things that concerns us. This is very important and it concerns us. So many other things it doesn't. I'm looking in the Facebook to what people are talking about. All those ones, don't tell, I'm telling you, yeah, everyone is quoting from Hadith, of course. Everyone is speaking about awliya, this and that. Yes, everything is religious, everything is Islamic. But I'm looking, what is it that they are being busy with? Even in Islam, so many involve themselves in Malayani knowledge that does not concern them. Inshallah Rahman. May we have more sincerity. Then uh, that time, it's very easy for us. That time, yes, you have a connection to the heart. Because you're always watching when you do something wrong, to say, I did. When you do something, you're always looking, what I could have done better? What is the wrong thing? What is the wrong thing? Always there's room for improvement. And you will always improve. That time the voice will come very loud and clear to you. You need to do this. You need to do this. Inshallah Rahman. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh higher. May we become better.